Hi, I'm Alan Aponte and I'm here with Gabe and we're going to show you a very easy tutorial on how to create a hands-only groom brow. So for this tutorial, we're going to use three main products. You will want to use a brow gel that's going to maintain your hair, um, your brow hairs throughout the day on pl in place. Um, we'll want to use a brow pencil or a brow marker and something to actually brush them prior uh, utilizing the other two products. So the first one, it's going to be the brow brush and we're just this brow brush, it can be this one, it can be um, a toothbrush, it can be a spoolie. There's um, a lot of them that you can actually use. And you will just want to kind of brush and see um, if there is any bald spots on the brow that you will want to actually fill in. In this case, I'm using one that's dual-ended. Um, it is by MAC, it's called the Shape um, and Shade Brow Tint. It has a side that it is a eyeshadow uh, for the brows and then it has this part that it's more of a brush that will help you create that thin sort of hair that makes the brow look um, a lot more natural. So the first part or the first step is to take the end that looks like an eyeshadow brush and you want to just kind of touch it very lightly to kind of fill in the brow and automatically this is going to make the brow look a little bit more dense. Trying to identify or to see how long or how thick your brow should be, there is a little trick that we in the makeup industry do and it is use the pencil anything that you have, a brush or anything and you're going to measure your brow by um, using your nose as a starting point. So by utilizing the tip of your nose, just take the brow pencil um, directly to the top and where the brow pencil meets the eyebrow, that's exactly what you will want the brow to start. Now take the same pencil, angle it, and kind of goes, if you, if you think, um, through your actual eye. So that's more of your angle. And when you go a little bit lower till the end of the eye, that's where your brow should end. So that's what you're going to use to kind of map your brow to actually see from where it should start to where it should end. After we have applied the product, we want to brush that product out. And then we're going to start utilizing the ink part and what you want to do is that you can use it like this on yourself and like that. You can also use it like this to kind of have a little bit more of that angle movement and a little bit more support. You can look there. So look where your brows kind of actually just start going and then just slowly start creating her like strokes. Um, if you feel that the product is not grabbing to your brow, um, take a little bit of a alcohol pad or take, let's do a little bit here, or take um, water and clean the surface of the brow. That means that there's maybe a little bit of oil in the brow that's not letting the, pro the product actually attach. And just keep going on the direction of the hair until you achieve that desired look. We're gonna go like this. And after you have that, you can actually go again. Brush any excess. You, go. you can actually see the difference from one eyebrow that's a little bit more groomed uh, versus the other one that it's still groomed, it's still his natural brow, but it doesn't make as much as an impact as a groomed one. As the last step uh, and a precaution, you always want to apply a little bit of brow gel. And my favorite is this one from Benefit. It has a flat part in one side and then it has the spikes on the other one, which makes it super easy to kind of spackle the product over the brow and kind of then brush it, turn a little bit here, and then just brush it. Um, and the great thing is that it never erases the work that you did. It just kind of 
lets the hair there. If you are having trouble making the hair stay in a certain place, apply the product flat, wait a couple of seconds, and then just place it or brush the hair to the place you, to the desired place with um, the little spikes. It'll take you about 20 seconds to do that. Um, and after that, you are done. How do you feel, game? Ready to go out. Right? It's super easy. This is something that you can definitely um, add to your routine to kind of give you that handsomely groomed brow, beautiful structure. And if you didn't know, brows are actually essential for a good face structure. So I hope this video really helps you demystify what it is to actually do a brow or use a brow product on yourself. Um, it doesn't have to be hard, it can be simple and still yet effective.